Good day, I'm Samantha Allen and this is your GIS News for December 13. Tax Administration Jamaica, TAJ, says that travel restrictions will be enforced on persons who attempt to travel overseas without making provisions to settle outstanding liabilities. As part of its enhanced compliance program, TAJ says it intends to issue stop orders on delinquent taxpayers who have undisputed liabilities and have been contacted but remain delinquent. This will effectively prevent those persons from leaving the island until the matter is resolved. The TAJ is encouraging taxpayers who are in doubt about their status to contact them. Tax evasion is a criminal offense and the tax authority says it will act with the full provisions of the law to recover any outstanding amounts from tax dodgers. People who make prank calls to the country's emergency services may soon have to start paying the cost. The matter came up during a recent GIS think tank session with the Deputy Superintendent at the JCF's Community Safety and Security Branch, Stephanie Lindsay, and Assistant Superintendent in charge of communication at the Fire Brigade, Emilio Ebanks. Both lamented the continuous practice of people making prank calls to their emergency lines, putting a strain on their resources and sometimes preventing response to legitimate calls. It was suggested that those perpetrators may have to pay the bill for mobilizing the emergency resources unnecessarily. It is something that we, um, we, have, we have looked at. I know the police high command would, um, would, would, would have um, mentioned a lot about it. We may have to get to that point at some point time where persons who abuse the state resource are held accountable. We're not there yet. You're exposing the firefighters to danger. You're exposing other road users to danger. I remember these units are carrying tons of equipment. So you are exposing everybody. So we might have to look at this as a situation where, you know, we can, we can reclaim the Two Sisters Bridge in Dawkins, Penn Clarendon has been officially opened after government followed through on a commitment to replace the structure which collapsed during heavy rains last year. State Minister in the Ministry of Transport and Works, Richard Azan, and other key stakeholders praised the contractors, Dwight Constructions, for completing the bridge on time and within budget. The over 800 residents of Dawkins, Penn and surrounding communities who worked on the four-month project also received a special commendation. And for us to spend $70 million in this community, uh, we never have one day of stoppage. We never have one day of theft. It is uh, worthwhile spending the $70 million. The Jamaica Defence Force, JDF, is carrying out a strategic defence review to reposition and refocus its mode of operation. Acting Chief of Defence Staff, Brigadier Rocky Mead, says it's a move that will lead to the creation of a more modern military. In the meantime, he's encouraging Jamaicans to support the work of the JDF. Let us continue to support each other and embrace transformation as we move forward as a force. Let us reflect on the past year and renew our commitment to those things that matter. Brigadier Mead was giving closing remarks at the JDF Carroll service at Up Park Camp recently, attended by Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller, who is the Minister of Defence. A unit is to be set up within the Tourism Ministry to formulate strategies that will help increase benefits to the other industries that are linked to the sector. It's a collaborative effort involving the Tourism, Agriculture and Industry Investment and Commerce Ministries along with other public and private bodies. Tourism and Entertainment Minister Dr. Wickham McNeil says while the island welcomes record numbers of visitors each year, a way has to be found to maximize the benefits to the economy. There are two ways of doing that. One, by increasing the amount that they spend. And two, to ensure that the, the things that they spend, that we retain those funds in Jamaica. And, and the way to do that is to, to provide more of our products to the visitors to consume. Dr. McNeil was speaking at Wednesday's JIS Think Tank session. He also informed that the Tourism Enhancement Fund had been charged with examining strategies to boost the earning potential of the attraction sector. And finally, the Education Ministry is exploring several avenues to better integrate teachers leaving training colleges into the education system. Portfolio Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaite says that at the fore of those discussions with the Jamaica Teachers Association is a revision of the education code. He says a motion on the Jamaica Teaching Bill will address that in 2013. 
we are going to make every effort to come to a consensual uh, position, one which respects the tenure, one which respects the, 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 the grade levels of the teachers, but at the same time insists that they are deployed in ways that, uh, that, uh, that uplift the education system. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Samantha Allen. Thanks for watching.